All right. Hello, and welcome to Beyond Books, where we usually talk about books, but today we're going to talk about canoes. Um, I actually have some video that I shot uh, just a couple of hours ago uh, of us uh, on a little canoe trip. Uh, it's at the park where uh, I've showed you before, where they have a nice uh, big lake. It's actually a reservoir, and uh, there's a boat dock there, and uh, there are canoes and kayaks that you can rent. So uh, we took out a canoe for a couple of hours, and I have a video of us uh, back and forth on the water. This is an absolutely beautiful day, so um, I'm very excited to show it to you. So uh, thanks, and I hope you have a great Labor Day weekend, uh, and I hope you get out and are able to do something fun and exciting. Take care. Have a great day. Um, some of the trees are turning just a little tiny bit. I think you can see that one that's off in that direction. Um, it is September 1st, so happy September. And uh, soon will be the beginning of fall. Everybody likes that season. I love that season. Um, it's so nice to have the weather cool down. It does always make me feel like going out and doing more things, so that's a that's a great sign. We were just uh, talking about different experiences that we've had canoeing and kayaking uh, in different places and um, probably one of the best kayaking trips we ever had was, it was quite a while ago now, probably back in 2009 or 2011, we were in uh, Key West and um, we went with a company called uh, Blue Planet and they took us out at night in kayaks and we went through these mangrove trails all around Key West. I mean, it's just so many tiny islands and the water is so beautiful. Uh, and the gentleman that runs the company is actually uh, trained in marine biology. And the things he dug out of the water were just incredible. I mean, I would never even know that some of that stuff was there. But uh, he showed us like a sea slug. Uh, it poured a purple ink all down his arm. He pulled out these different sea anemones and just all sorts of stuff that, you know, you never would have seen on, on your own. Uh, and we left just as, you know, it was dusk probably. And so we uh, watched the sunset near this little island where all of the birds just came in so they could stay there for the for the night uh, and then when it was dark we all had little headlamps and we turned them on and that's when we went through the mangrove trails and uh, at the end we saw actually a giant stingray um, this thing was huge I think they call them an eagle ray I think it's one of the biggest ones that they have in Key West I'm sure other places might have larger ones I don't know but this thing was big and we were all around it with our kayaks uh, and this is pre Steve Irwin so we didn't really think much of it but um, when I look back on it I think yeah that was kind of <laughs> that was kind of edgy um, but it really was a fun that was just a fun trip I think we we're out there for about what three four hours Donna yeah yeah, we were out for a while. I don't think we came back till 10, 11 o'clock at night, but it was just so much fun. Um, I was exhausted, <laughs> but, but it was a blast. Um, so that was the best kayaking trip, but we used to kayak in Florida a lot. Um, there was one area near where we lived where we could go to this private area of an island. Uh, it wasn't a private island. A lot of it was a state park, but there was one area where you, you couldn't get there except by uh, boat, and actually it needed to be just a small paddle boat. So, you know, either a paddle board or a kayak or something like that was ideal to get over. You could get over it, to it on a jet ski as well. But, um, yeah, so especially when we first moved there and there weren't as many people, we were the only ones there half the time. And you could just walk for miles on that beach and not see a single person. Uh, and there, it was an area where the birds nested. Uh, so they would be all up in the dunes. And if you got anywhere near the dunes, they would just scream at you because, you know, they were nesting and they didn't want 
anybody disturbing them and their and their eggs and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so that was fun. We would always find uh, shells and all kinds of things. So it was a good time. All right, so canoe on. Okay, so we found a goose sitting on his own little island over here. I'll try to keep the camera steady, but it's not easy in a canoe. <laughs> anyway, there he is. Pretty. Looking at us like we're crazy being out here. Disturbing his beautiful Sunday. Beautiful September Sunday. heading in the other direction, opposite to where we where I just showed you. It looks the same, basically. <laughs> the light's a little different, that's about all. We explored this little cove over here, um, but it's kind of hot because you don't get any breeze when you're enclosed in a little cove like that. It's better to be where it's open. feels a lot nicer. All right, so there I am again. There's Donna. <laughs> Waving and paddling. It's so quiet. So now we went back in the original direction that we went in, and we took a right down this little cove here we see this tree that's down in the water. I don't know if you can see the whole thing, but wow. Big tree that fell. It's still got pine cones all over it. And you're going to hear probably some kids screaming in the background. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but there was one kid and um, I guess he got scared because he thought he saw a snake. <laughs> and he yelled out, Is that an effing snake? And I mean, he said the word. <laughs> he only sounded like he was maybe like 10 or 11. <laughs> and then I heard an adult, like an adult male voice with him. So I guess his dad is with him. <laughs> and that's what he said. They're just, they're making so much noise. I guess they're having a good time and that's fine. They're in, they're not in a boat, they're in the woods. <laughs> they're, they're either on, the, I think they're on the trail actually and they're around the picnic area. So, I mean, it's okay to make some noise over there, I guess. <laughs> Is that an effing snake? <laughs> well, I don't know what he saw, but <laughs> I mean, he might've seen a snake, who knows? So now we've gone around that tree that fell in the water and this is further down this little trail I have no idea how far that goes we're not far from the road though because I can hear it and probably just about anywhere you are on this lake you won't be far from the road anywhere you are on the trail you're really not that far from the road either but yeah it's real quiet down here otherwise other than the road sounds like to go further down but it's warm when you go down these little coves here this open part over here oh it's so nice and cool just get a really nice breeze it's a big big difference so we're gonna be heading back down here all right so we are back now almost to the dock where we started from which is right over here and uh yeah, we've been out for, we think, about two hours. <laughs> we're not exactly sure, but we're pretty sure it's been about two hours. So, um, kind of explored everything I feel like exploring for right now. It is still a little warm, but uh, down here, I don't know if you can see it. There is a little tunnel uh, 
in the water there on the edge that you can see. There we go. There we go. Uh, and next time we're going to take that. That'll bring us under the road and then we'll be on the opposite side of this re reservoir. Um, so we'll explore that the next time around. All right, well, thanks for coming with us on our paddling tour. We enjoyed it. Hope you did too. Have Bye. a great... See you next time. <laughs> Have a great September 1st, and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. All right.